Welcome to Fashion, Faith, and Flair. Today's fashion message is choosing cute clothing is a choice. You do not have to be a teenager to choose cute clothing. Do not, and I repeat, do not let age stop you. Confidence, that's the key. Be willing to step outside your comfort zone anytime that you want to. Actually, if you wait till you want to, you'll never do it. So get outside that comfort zone. So I'm going to give you six tips in choosing cute clothing. When choosing cute clothing, the number one thing is fit, proper fit. Do not wear clothing that is too tight. Perfect example is what's on the dress form behind me. That is an ecru vintage coat dress that I absolutely love. And it is too tight. I mean, I'm probably 10 pounds away from wearing that, that coat dress um, comfortably. And with that dress, I mean, I wanna wear my ageless style wearable art hat that I made. Oh God, I love it. With some suede, Oh, heels and some black leggings. I mean, I've got the outfit. It even, oh, black velvet gloves with it. I would love to wear this outfit, but unfortunately right now it's too tight. And if I go out in something that's too tight, I'm gonna be uncomfortable wearing it. And I won't have a good time because I'll sit there and fidge with the clothing and actually I'll feel like I'm a stuffed sausage. So fit is, is definitely the number one thing. To, to be conscious of. And also don't wear clothes too big. And I, I've told you before, I've done that. I did that for years. When I weighed over 300 pounds, I wore clothing that was four and five sizes too big because I was trying to cover up the shame of my body. I was shamed, I was shamed of how I looked and it looked ridiculous. I needed to wear properly fitting clothes. So that's number one. The second one is focus on appearance and the feel of the garment. So if it's a fabric that's itchy on your skin or something that is ratty or it looks like crap, it's pilled, don't wear it. Get rid of it. Use it as a dust rag. Not that I clean a lot, but hey, I cut up old clothes if I need to, to dust in the house. And that's very rarely, usually when I'm decorating for Christmas or, I mean, my house is straight, but you know, I'm not the best, I'm honest about it. I'm not the best housekeeper in the world. It's not, I don't live to clean the house. But luckily, uh, I live uh, by myself. So it, uh, you know, it works out. Unless I'm having company with friends over or something. Oh yeah, then I'll clean. But that's a side conversation. Choose bright and shiny colors. Forget dull. Now, as you know, black is my favorite color. I tend to wear a lot of black and I'm trying to get out of it. I'm trying to bring some color into my wardrobe. For example, this vintage um, jacket that I have on, what's well, more of a blazer. It's a bright, I think it's more periwinkle, almost kind of a royal blue, but I have it on and I have accessorized it, accessorized it with black. So I have a black, my one of my black ageless style hats. I've got a black scarf, leggings, and then I have also accessorized with some, some crazy blinged out jewelry. So for me, it's a, a process and it is hard. I don't have a problem with the shiny, it's the colors. So I'm trying to get better about wearing colorful clothing. The next tip is while comfort is important, and oh my God, I can't stress this enough, avoid matronly clothing. Oh, wow. When I was in my 20s and 30s, I was in department store management and they had these labels. Oh my God, they were Alfred Dunner. I hated them. I mean, I had to make, when I merchandised the department, I had to make it look good so the clothing would sell. And I vowed in my 20s and 30s, when I get to be older, I am not wearing these type of clothes. No way, no how. I mean, polyester or these sweatshirts with embroidery on them. As my sister says, avoid the grandma sweatshirts and the ones with birdhouses on them. Don't do it. So matronly, just because we're older doesn't mean that, that we have to dress like we're ready for the grave. I'm sorry, maybe that's a little blunt, but that's where I'm at on that. 
So think stylish. Do not be staid. And when I mean staid, I mean S-T-A-I-D. And I didn't know what the word meant. So I Googled the definition of the word. And it says, characterized by sedateness and often a straight-laced sense of propriety, serious and conventional. Now, I'm a Christian, and I'm anything but straight-laced. <laughs> and my clothing doesn't show it. So I don't want to get into that whole religious conversation. Let's just say you do not have to blend in to the background. Just because we're older doesn't mean that we're not beautiful, does not mean that we are still attractive. I mean, I mean, it does mean that we are still attractive. Our bodies have changed. Our skin has changed, but we can still be very, very stylish. So I'm really adamant about that. Do not be matronly. And if you find a style that works, this is the next tip, get multiple colors of it. My sister is famous for doing that. She'll buy a sweater and a blingy sweater, as she calls it, and maybe silver, and then she'll get it in red, she'll get it in purple, and because she loves the style. So she loves the style on her, and so she figures, well, multiple colors, these are my colors, and I love the style, it looks good, so let me get different colors of it. Same thing she does with purses. Uh, I'd have a tendency to get black purses, because, you know, I'm trying to come out of that color of only wearing black. Even though I love black, it is my color. I've got to, to kind of, I want to step out at this stage in life. The last tip is um, once you have selected the garment, accessorize, accessorize, accessorize. It's not just a, a matter of just putting a, um, an outfit on and then not having any accessories. And so we, we can add some great earrings or a necklace or a belt or whatever you want to do, just tie it all together. And I know you're probably like me, you have your favorite accessories that you tend to go toward in your um, jewelry, but sometimes I just want to find something different and just add it on because it's about completing the outfit. So do not repeat, and I'm going to repeat it again, do not let age stop you from choosing cute clothing. There, <laughs> the age should not be a barrier. And a lot of people get older and they just don't care. And I, I think it's important that, you know, it, your style can change. But to say you don't give a crap, and I've been there, trust me. When I was over 300 pounds, I didn't give a crap. And I don't want to go back there. One thing, I don't want to go back to the weight, but I also don't want to go back to being in that fashion rut. Now, if I do go back, which I don't want to say I am going back, but if I did go back, I'd still look good. No matter what, I would wear clothing that I felt comfortable in. I could always change the body. I can always change my style no matter what and still feel confident. I remember one time I was in Israel and I, of course, I was in my black stage, but everything coordinated. I had one of my hats. I had black luggage. I had accessories that, that all went together. And I'm walking down the street looking for the bus. I travel cheap. So I was looking for the bus to get back to the train to get to the airport. I was in Tel Aviv. And I'll never forget this beautiful woman came up to me. She was in her 70s, she told me. And she said, are you looking for a cab? And I explained to her. So she walked me, this lady walked me to the bus stop. And she even she even offered to carry my luggage. And I, and I thought, oh, no, there's no way I'm going to like ask her to carry my luggage. She was so sweet. And she was coordinated. I'm telling you, talk about a fashionista. She was an all purple. She had purple makeup. She had coordinating jewelry. This woman looked sharp. And she she was so sweet because I was I said, boy, you're such a fashionista. You look beautiful. And she goes, well, she goes, you look like you're from Hollywood. And I thought, oh, that's sweet. <laughs> I appreciate that. But the point was, is I looked at this lady 
and thought, you know, at the time I thought, I'll, in 20 years I'll be where she's at in age and I want to look like her. She had the best style that I've ever seen. Walking down in Tel Aviv, she knew exactly how to put it together and she didn't let age stop her. So again, cute clothing is definitely a choice. Just remember that, it's a choice that we make. So if you like this video, please press the like key. If you want to subscribe, I post twice a month, or wait, excuse me, I post twice a week. And I would love to, to, for you to get notified when I give the next fashion message. So I hope that you have a fabulous, fashionable day.